Welcome to the HTML5 dev channel. In this video, I will show how to set up a single event using WP cron. Here, I will use this function, WP schedule single event, where I will supply it with a specific timestamp, a dynamic custom hook that we will make on the fly, and the necessary arguments, for example, a post ID, to perform a specific task. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a, a post here, which is send, uh, standing here at a pending status. And the ID is 867. Let's verify from the back end. Yeah, it's sitting in the pending 867. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to publish it using Ajax. But Ajax is not the point. The point is how we implement WP cron. Right now, each day, one day equals one point. But um, what I have done for testing purposes, I've, I've turned the days into minutes. Basically, if I publish this for one day, it will expire in one minute. That's why I have a stopwatch handy. So as soon as I publish this, we're going to see that the post will come alive for one minute and then it will disappear. So eventually the plan is to convert the, the time into day so that uh, you know whatever day is chosen from here gets implemented. Let's say somebody pays five points for five days, it stays up for five days and then goes away. But for now, for testing purpose, each day equals one minute. All right, so let's go pay by point. We're gonna go stick to one so that we can track it for one minute. All right, here we go. Okay, so from Ajax, we're getting a response that uh, it's being successful. And meanwhile, let's uh, start the stopwatch to track one minute worth of uh, time to see what happens to that post. So let's go see if it's published. Yes, testing for cron 867, right? So from the back end also, let's verify 867. All right, spending is gone, so it's published. And to see it in a full blown way, let's go click on this category and we get to see the post published. So within 10 seconds, we're going to refresh the screen to see this list disappear and go into a pending status. All right. And that's going to happen using or implementing the WP cron. Okay, so now we're going to uh, refresh to see what happens. Not found. So that means it just disappeared and it its status got changed into pending to verify. Let's go to the back end. This is uh, 867 sitting in pending status. And also check it out from the home view, your lists here. It is no longer part of the active lists, but it is sitting right here under the non-active list and status pending. All right, so now let's go check out the back end and analyze the code and see how this was possible. All right, we are at the back end code. This is the Ajax function. Um, it actually starts right here. This is the add action which launches this uh, list payment and publish Ajax. And at the beginning, there's a bunch of variables being collected, but for our purpose, we need to notice only this post ID and publish dates. Only these two we need to keep in mind. And now here, what we're doing is at the beginning, we once we paid the paid by point, we immediately published the um, the post that was pending. And as you can see, this is the important thing to notice, post status is published. So once uh, we 
collect that ID, which used to be a you know, pending post. Using that ID, we are now changing the status to publish. So as soon as I, that happens, here I'm creating another uh, variable called minutes and I'm setting it to the publish days because as I said before, the days are now minutes for testing purposes, right? So publish days, uh, you know, once um, testing and everything is done, I'm gonna change this uh, time frame and make it into a day. But for now, I kept it to a minute. So this variable uh, is now being used and this is the main WP cron function. And this one schedules single events, not recurring, just one time, right? I'll make another video for the recurring one, but this one is for a single event. And here is uh, one line I kept so that you can see uh, what this function actually takes. It takes a uh, timestamp with in, you know, which is in an integer form, and then a string for hook. And now this is no uh, regular hook. This is something that we create. Whoever implements this function creates this custom hook and you'll see how we implement it. And here comes a data array. You can pass whatever you like, but all we, for our purposes, we need just the post ID, right? So once this is set, now let's go see how we implement this hook that we just create. So before this function, I'm adding an action. This is where the actual cron is being set using that same hook that we created custom hook we can name it whatever we like i named it unlist event because that's what's going to happen here and with this hook comes a function and this is where the function is and also this is the 10 is a priority and one is number of attributes since we sent one attribute which is post id so this number is one so what's happening here now exactly within 60 seconds or whichever minute we apply this to here right like if if i chose like five days this number would have been five multiplied by 60 it that uh, post would have been out there for five minutes right so after that using this hook this function will be launched and since we send post ID, so we pick up that post ID and create a set of arguments. And only this time, now we know that uh, the post was published. So this time we're going to change it to a post status pending. So that at this point, after 60 seconds, this function is launched using that post ID and changing that status into pending thus disappearing from the actual list like right here it did not find any more right and that was done by this specific function which is wp update post using these arguments thanks for watching if you like this video please smash the like button and the subscribe button this will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.